Look, uh, Mark Sanchez, former USC quarterback, of course, uh, NFL quarterback with the Jets. He uh, stopped by yesterday. We had a chance to sit down with him. And the first thing I asked Mark was, if you're walking around in Los Angeles, what do people say to you? It's funny. It's hit or miss. Sometimes I get Matt Leiner. <laughs> Sometimes I get uh, Adrian Grenier from uh, oh, Entourage. Uh, Vinny Chase, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's usually it. Okay. What Mario do you, Lopez. No. What, 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 what do you say when somebody says, hey, Matt Leiner? Uh, well, this is funny. I went to this uh, business conference, and this guy comes and gives me a huge hug. Oh, no. He says, man, that apartment complex, I mean, I told you. It's blowing up. And I'm like, what? what are you talking about? He's like, you know, we went out on, on the apartment complex. It's doing so well. They got seven more. I mean, I'm making bank on that thing. You're in it too. And I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he finally goes, come on, man. Don't mess with Heisman guy. Now, Heisman, now you're too big time. Like, I'm like, dude, I, I didn't win a Heisman. <laughs> I don't know. He's like, Matt. And I said, Mark. And he goes, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just totally missed. Uh, good but he was convicted. Good. Oh, con not a convicted fellow. No, no, no he was no, just no. convicted. Sorry. Convicted. Okay. Um, good month for USC football, wouldn't you I, say? I think we're winning the offseason uh, whatever. <laughs> News media battle. <laughs> but, but, That's for sure. And transfer portal. What good. What does Lincoln Riley's style mean? Um, you know, I think most importantly, it it seems like things are shifting the way it was when I was coming out of high school. And that was Carson Palmer, Matt Leiner. That was the only place to go, right? Like if you're a SoCal quarterback, you look nowhere else. It was Norm Chow. It was Steve Sarkeesian. It was Pete Carroll. That's where you wanted to be. And for a long time now, I mean, look at all the guys in the SEC. Georgia took um, uh, the kid from modern day, uh, JT Daniels. JT Daniels. Um, the kid from Clemson, Uy Ungalule, is, uh, is from Bosco, right, Orange County, L.A. And then uh, Bryce Young's modern day. And these guys are across the country. How did they get out of Southern California? That's the problem, is it wasn't a desirable place to go. And why does it Lincoln wasn't a make quarterback factory anymore? But now it's Kyler, it's uh, Baker Mayfield, it's um, uh, Jalen Hurts. Where else are you going to go? If you're a quarterback, that's the guy. So hopefully that brings people back and reminds them that they don't have to leave. Because if we just keep California, even just if you cut California in half and took the southern part, I mean, we're competitive now, but all these guys are leaving. Who uh, was runner up? For you, coming out of high school, runner up. What do you mean? You, uh, oh, next school. Yeah. Um, geez, I went to Texas, Ohio State, Notre Dame. Uh, I looked at UCLA briefly, but um, yeah, Mac Brown. Mac Brown was great. He was hard to say no to. But Jim Trussell, I remember. Uh, we were in the horseshoe. They had the band. I had an Ohio State jersey. They put my highlight tape up on the Megatron or whatever. They audio dubbed Keith Jackson's voice over it, and it was supposed to be like the Rose Bowl, and then they were showing my high school highlights on this thing. And I was like, I'm a Buckeye. Done deal. <laughs> Done deal. I hear Keith Jackson, the young sophomore from Southern California, you know? And I was like, wow. And we're in Trestle's office, and I'm like, this is it. Like, I'm about to sign a paper, and I'm going to be a Buckeye. <laughs> and then he said, you know, it's, it's awesome uh, every year we play Michigan right around Thanksgiving. Ten years in a row. Great football weather. It's been snow in every game. And I was like, what? <laughs> I looked at my dad. I was like, what did he say? I was like, snow? We got to drive to Big Bear for snow. <laughs> like, what is the snow? <laughs> We're going to Mammoth. Football? Yeah, I was like, I'm out. <laughs> so was, That was pretty funny. That kind of... That really just changed my mind right there. Wait, did you do any research on what weather's like in I Columbus? Didn't, it's silly now looking back i'm like what a moron <laughs> but i didn't you look at the jerseys you look at the coaches you look at okay what am i going to do here I'm, you know it's a good education great i didn't think twice about the weather no clue name image and likeness mm -hmm. and where it's going because caleb williams is really the first true free agent sure. we've probably seen i'm curious what he got from usc 
Yeah. Because um, everything's legal now, right? I mean, I just feel like here in L.A., you have so much to offer these kids. Um, you know, you can go speak at a Boosters golf tournament now, 10 grand, bam. Like, you could get maybe 20 grand. So you're doing five quick little talks playing a golf tournament. There's 100 grand right there. I mean, go sign some autographs at a dealership. Like, it's so easy now. But how did the SEC master this? I mean, Young reportedly uh, got $1.3 from Alabama. And those are just guaranteed deals, I'm sure. Like He was making more than Jalen Hurts was as an NFL quarterback <laughs> last it. year, Mark. I believe it. I just saw that soundbite of um, Jimbo Fisher. Did you see yes. that? Clown axe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's like, awesome. It, it, he wants everybody I mean, to think I'm a great recruiter yeah, like, and we would never pay for anybody. I mean, come on. Come on. They got, uh, they got oil money down there, Mark. It's... It's legal now. Yeah. You know, like, just just let it go. Like, it's on. Because now you just sort of say, all right, what do you got for me? Exactly. And the parents, you know, this transfer portal thing is interesting, too, because I feel like the parents, even when I was coming out, like, parents like to be recruited. You know, they want to know how good Johnny is, you know? <laughs> and now these kids, like, play a little bit their first year, boom, and they're in the portal just to go on trips again. Just to go visit and, okay, what do you have for me? Well, they said they got 30. You only have 20? You know, it's um, it's unbelievable, but it's legal. I uh, I saw Kenny Pickett went to the Senior Bowl, and, of mm -hmm. course, he's got small hands, Mark. <laughs> so thoughts and prayers for uh, sure. Kenny Pickett. Sure. But then you hear he's the most ready quarterback. And how important – you've got big hands. I have massive hands. Yes. So, yeah. obviously, you have to have massive hands to play in the NFL. I mean – I think it's a huge advantage. Um, you know, a slick ball when it's wet in the elements, it helps. Um, Favre, really big hands. And his thumb, it was like the, his thumb on his throwing hand that was like extra long. It was really weird. <laughs> but uh, I played golf with him one time, and I kind of looked at it like, huh, must have been it. Because yeah. <laughs> he got some extra juice on the ball. But it's, it's something. It's not everything, but um, it definitely helps. But when you went to the combine, Mm -hmm. Like, what stood out that you you realized, boy, that um, this means a little bit more than it should? Yeah, I remember you go uh, – so if you have an injury, I had dislocated my patella on my left leg. Whatever injury you have, they look at. And 32 team doctors will go and crank on it. And by the end of that day, this thing was a basketball. Because I had heard it my senior year at SC. So I'm like, dude, I got to run a 40 tomorrow. There's no way. I got to drop back and throw. I mean, we were icing that thing, massaging that thing like crazy because they were just pulling on it, pulling on it, pushing on it, prodding it. How does this feel? How does this feel? Extend, <laughs> contract, you know, all this stuff. I'm like, oh, my God, you're like a lab rat. And it was awful. I mean, it was still so swollen when I was running and everything. It sucks. That was the worst part. Paul, you got uh, Mark's measurables? Of course I do. Uh, Mark uh -oh. Sanchez coming out of USC. Measure 10.5 inches on your hand size, which is tied for 10th all-time in Combine nice. history. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I was growing them out for the Combine. Yeah. So. <laughs> what? Uh, you got his 40 there? Uh, 488. I got 488. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Where's that rank with other USC quarterbacks? Carson was faster than that. Carson's definitely faster than that. Liner, that had to be faster than Liner. <laughs> if it wasn't, I'm going to be pissed. Matt Barkley? Uh, Got to be. I don't know. Yeah, Paulie. Yeah, 4.9 seconds for Matt Liner. Yes. Yes, <laughs> you owned him. <laughs> Two tenths. You, you owned him. Take that. Uh, Mark is joining us on behalf of uh, Papa John celebrating its uh, New York-style pizza. Fans' uh, unique pizza rituals and a special giveaway. I'll let you uh, take the sales pitch from there. Yeah, let's go. So basically, Super Bowl Sunday, number one day to order pizza. They just introduced this New York style pizza. Uh, you know, thirteen bucks, eight huge slices, fold it in half, dip it in the garlic sauce. There's nothing better. So basically, what they want you to do is, for a chance to win pizza, free pizza for an entire year, you can upload your pictures of you eating this New York style pizza on Instagram, Twitter. And uh, hashtag sweepstakes, hashtag what's your style, and they will pick a winner. 
And obviously, you brought in some pizza for us. Let's go. Let's go. Here's, where's the... Hello? There's a, you didn't bring any... You know who would have brought pizza? Matt Liner. Oh. Yeah. It would have been slow. <laughs> um, if I gave you Joe Burrow or Matthew Stafford for Oof. this game. I hate betting against Joe Burrow. I love that kid, man. I sat down with him right before he has this incredible ascension at LSU. Obviously, I'm not taking credit for it, but I went to go visit uh, Eddie O. Ed <laughs> and um, Seton does a Ed O. It's a great. <laughs> Let's hear a little Coach Ogeron. Hey. Well, Dan, I was just saying. <laughs> hey, thought you were doing Papa John's. <laughs> um, so I'd answer it if you were Coach O talking about Joe Burrow. Well, Joe, <laughs> number one, go Tigers. And Joe, he got the eye of the tiger. He got a heart like a lion. And he love him some gumbo. <laughs> who, who would no, you take I, Sunday? Listen, I love Joe. I think he's so impressive, especially nine sacks in that divisional game. Are you kidding me? And that dude didn't even flinch. Most quarterbacks, your eyes just start dropping. Okay, I'm, I'm guilty of it. Tom Brady's guilty of it. You name it. You get hit that many times. You stop looking downfield, and you're like, damn, I got to find a throwing lane because I'm going to get my head taken off. He didn't flinch. So I love him. I'd love to see him do well. I just think he's going to get another crack at it. And Stafford and I came in the same year. I just really want it. I want it for him. Okay. I really want him to win it. He's been through so much in Detroit, and it finally worked out. You know, everybody said, well, if he was with another corner, if he had a supporting cast, well, now he does. So I'd love to see him win. Did you ever get too cocky beating Brady? Did you ever feel like? <laughs> no way. No way. It was um, – it's, it's so funny because when you – you look at people like that, him, you know, Kobe, Jordan, like those kind of people. Players talk about playing those guys and they know they got to be perfect. And you're hoping he screws up once, you know, you're hoping we get an interception on a screen pass by David Harris, who got caught by Algie Crumpler, by the way. <laughs> what? He should have taken that in for a touchdown. I think we missed a field goal on that. Or we did something, but I, I missed the throw, but basically it was crappy. But um, you just know everything's got to line up and you got to hope for, for a bad one from him. And that was so impressive to me, that sustained greatness, that sustained success. It's, it's incredible. Did you beat him? What do you mean? How many times did you beat him head Oh, head? Uh, well, we beat him at home. My rookie year, my second year, and then we beat him in the playoffs. So, like, the first but you're not still couple starting years, to we feel three yourself. Three. Like, you know, I, all right. I, uh, I, I just, you know what I didn't realize? I didn't realize, like, I knew what it was, but I really didn't. Now, looking back, you're like, damn, that was just the first part of his three Hall of Fame career. <laughs> you know, like, part one. That was just part one. And... I didn't realize it because we beat him at home the first time. Um, so it didn't register. It was just, you know, there's a big rivalry and everybody was talking about it, but we beat him. So it was like, whatever. Um, I don't know. It was, it was really strange those first couple of years. And then after the first two or three, I mean, we just got smoked. <laughs> I mean, it was rough. It was rough. Uh, it's great to see you again. Thank you. Thank uh, you guys thanks for, for coming me. out. Appreciate it. Mark Sanchez, who didn't bring pizza. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no pizza. No pizza. My bad. So we taped that, and then Mark felt so bad. Mark then sent some pizzas here to the, to the crew. So, nice. Yeah. It was like, and then Fritzy goes, he only sent two pizzas. No, I don't want to look a gift Trojan horse in the mouth. No. There's a whole staff oh. of people. What is two pizzas going to do? I could eat that by myself in the back. Well, room. no, he was sending the pizza for us four. So two for four people. I still think you got to go within three. Uh, he hasn't seen me sit down in front of a table full of pizza. I know. Fritzy goes, you know, that, that's a minimum four pizza. Like, yeah, you got to send four pizzas. And, uh, well, Not make two. sure the sta there's a whole staff. I know, there. I, know I know, I know, I know, I know. Who eats pizza besides me at 10 o'clock in the morning? That's another thing that's weird. Yeah. But it's actually 
our body clock would be one o'clock in the afternoon I, East yes. Coast time. I would have preferred him to send a couple pizzas to my hotel room and forget about you. We guys. had Bloody Marys yesterday at yeah. uh, nine nine twenty in the morning. Man, that was one of the best Bloody Marys I ever had. Yeah, I, I we went to a place right across the street from our hotel, and I'm with um, Ario and the French kid and uh, Seton and. Seton goes, I could do a Bloody Mary. Heck and I yeah, go, dude. all right, I'll go Bloody Mary. Yep. And then uh, you know, French kid and Ariel got beers. We had breakfast tacos. I said, all right. That'll set you up for a great nap, right? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Especially the second Bloody Mary that I had. <laughs> I went back and I'm like, I am gonzo.